Now, there are a number of frameworks in place to help you choose the right technology, whether it be for one element of your ecosystem or to evaluate your ecosystem as a whole or the learning experience from utilising that technology. So the first one is the Rigor Relevance Framework. This is a tool developed by the International Centre. It examines curriculum, instruction and assessment along two dimensions of higher standards and student achievement. When applied to technology, if we think along the vertical horizon, we look at knowledge. Do we consume it, which is at the lowest level, or do we move into evaluation of that learning and the learning experiences? Horizontally, we look at do we move from acquiring knowledge in one discipline to applying that in a real world context or an unpredictable situation? So can students create their own knowledge? The next one is the SAMA model. So at the lower levels, we talk about substitution, where technology acts as a direct substitute with no functional change. Next is augmentation, where technology acts as a direct substitute with functional improvement. Then we can progress to modification, where technology allows for significant task redesign. And finally, we look at redefinition, where technology allows for and creates a new learning experience. Now, it's important to remember that not all of our learning experiences can be in redefinition and technology should not always be used that way. It's okay to have a balance across the model. Finally, there's the triple E framework. So we move from engagement, where students participate in active social learning activities focused on learning goals, or we look at enhancement, where students learn through technology-rich activities, where technology makes possible learning in new ways. And finally, extending. So does the technology extend the learning experience? Is it deeper learning? Is it more effective for the students? My top tip for choosing the right technology to support and influence teaching and learning is start with the teaching and learning. Start with what you want the learning experience to be and the outcomes and then determine what technology is required to support that experience. Oh.